Hey kiddies from all over the world, welcome to my show, Metal Chef Mad Max, love you guys, uh, thank you again for watching me without you or help, I am faceless and silent, so let's go do it, does anybody of you know how to play mandolin? I don't, but I got mandolin, not the expensive one, I bought it for a few bucks, you know, in the resale shop, you know, Japanese mandolin, you know, Slicer, pretty much. I got my delicious salmon here. I marinated, cut it through portions, you know, just marinated sea salt and fresh cream butter from Poland. From Poland! Yep. And just leave it in the room temperature for a couple hours before grilling, okay? We'll see what's happening. And then we're gonna do some salad or slaw, you know, go together with our delicious salmon. Alright? So, the container like this, because we're gonna get everything in one thing, so we don't have to wash too much crap. Alright, English Sedless Cucumbers, and a mandolin. Mandolin in, like this. Okay. And now you cut those babies to the tin strips. Alright, again, we're gonna do some... International ingredients, you know, if you don't have those babies, substitute with something else. Hey, you know I mean my jelly bean? It's not always what you want. Sometimes you have to use it, what you get. I was composing another song, man. use the harder parts of the cucumber so you know that's my preference all right let's go put those babies in the side I don't like this piece of junk right there then I got little cute pears like that let's go rock those babies out they is nice and not soft they nice and firm you don't want any soft pears we'll turn to the mush that's a different show, you know, but so put them to the mandolin too. Oh, something boiling in the back. That's another three pairs I poaching with the mirror, and I'm gonna do some garni for my dish. Okay, two pairs is enough. And then when you use the pears, make sure you put some acid on it so they don't discolor. I'm using sweet vinegar uh, and sugar seasoning for Japanese cuisine, mirin. This one is non-alcoholic, so alcohol is cooked off. And I'm gonna splash with some... Uh, you have to, when you got those cool things, you have to remove it. Like the safety pit. Put this on the little chef Mad Max. Like a safety pin from grenade. Boom! Booyah! Boom! A little bit of acidity because and toss it right away. You don't want your pears be discolored. Alright? Same with the apples, you know, the fruits and vegetables when they have got the high vitamin C content because that oxygen air we breathe will discolor. Oxidize it. Alright, meantime. I got some Savoy cabbage. I cut up two very nice thin strips. Then I got some red cabbage, but I did a little trick. I think boiling water, I scalded with the boiling water. Then I add some lemon juice to make nice and beautiful. So if you don't do it, it's turned kind of, uh, you know, purplish, grayish color. This one, it's nice and bright goes in, then I got a little bit of English peas, uh, the bloody peas from England and Adame from Japan from the trusted freezer defrosted with the hot water, squeeze the extra water water tastes like water, it's good for you but doesn't give the flavor to food so try to and try to uh, you know you know what I mean? 
All right, we got this little baby here, Serrano. Serrano pepper. Again, Spanish Mexican cuisine, Latin America. Wash out the seeds. And we'll see how the Serrano, you know, turn a little bit red on me. So, mm. yeah, baby. I like it. I like it when it burns. Hmm. Kind of spicy. I'm gonna let the cabbage in. Red cabbage. I think I'm gonna just lose the little bit because I'm serving dinner today to Georgia and Michelle. And they're not huge fans of the spicy stuff. I like it, but. <coughs> They don't. This is up to you how much serrano you add. What else we got? We got nice green lime. Secret. Extreme secret. Poke it. The limes and lemons. Put it inside. If they said less, you don't have to put the sift so. A little bit of the lime meat falls into it, it's even better. Lime is it. Mm. I got some orange. Hey, no seeds in this bugger too. Falcon! My kitties, my friends. Lime. And orange. Pretty cool, huh, my little doggies? You want to add some onions? It's up to you, but I'm not doing onions today. Last time I got some onions. My belly turned a little bit upset. I start shooting. <coughs> Serrano, excuse me. It's kind of. Hmm. And let's go get the big boy. Then what we gonna do? I get just a little bit coral and a little bit salt. We're gonna salt it up. You you already got acid. We'll check for acid. I want a little bit sweetness, so I'm adding a little bit mirin. Again, bouncing around countries, bounce around the continents, bouncing around. You know, I'm not using cracked black pepper, just touch of regular ground pepper. My Pears, I turn it off, they're going to sit there and mingle with the mirror, we'll see what's happened. Just, just, just touch up of extra virgin olive oil. And I want to add a little touch up of canola and olive oil blend. So it's nice and shiny. Too much olive oil will add too much, you know, bitterness and, and smokiness sometimes you know depend what kind of olive oil you have to you know always watch it and gently gently massage and toss your salad well you know tossing salad that's a little bit bad but um, you know bad thing in English language we're not gonna talk about it. I'm simple man from overseas. Get it some fresh parsley. I just ran out. I'm not gonna overkill with deal. I got deal or cilantro. I don't wanna go for that. And looks like it's not enough cucumber. So I decided to mandle it off the rest of the suspects. I'm gonna put it in a Poaching liquid gives a little bit freshness of the cucumber to my poaching uh, liquid. We'll see what's happened. Experiment, guys, you know, don't be afraid. Especially you youngsters, do something, you know, unusual. Try new ideas. Just don't be afraid. Keep on, you know, new ideas, new flows going, you know, and because. If you're cooking the same crap all the time, it's not cool. Hey, look at that. And it looks like we got pretty cool.
small salad slash base for our salmon. Looks very nice, colorful, and healthy. But the question is if it stays any good. So always try it. Boring. It's enough salt, enough fancy. A little bit more mirroring to the picture. Yep. And uh, what else I want to add? Sriracha. <laughs> that will be killer, but it's already a little bit spicy from. Hmm. Uh -huh. Well, I'm gonna go this way and I need a little bit of uh, flour. No, nah, that's it, that's gone. Oh, another like a grenade thing. Boom! I got a little bit of sweet chili sauce. Just touch. And toss together this little munchkin. And when the, uh, you know, the, the, the liquid will be released, you need to refrigerate it, this at least for two hours, so all the flavors mingle together. Everything turns delicious. Alright, taste. Never double dip the forks. You don't want to give the cooties to your customers, your loved ones, you know, whatever who eats your food. Much better, but I need more citrusy, sweet, a little bit kick of the serrano, mirroring in the background, fresh vegetables. That's the kilach, kilach slow, kilach, you know, salad, kilach base for your salmon. All right, my friends, here you go. Check it out. Anybody need the recipe? Bounce me email or send me message I will answer I will give you direct uh, recipe and all the ingredients but you can see when I prepare it so it's not a secret anymore alright thank you for watching me keep it rock and rolling and we got this delicious metal chef Mad Max slow will rock your booties to the dust till next time be kind to each other and thank you again love you people Booyah and shade it. Hey ya! Boom.